guys, welcome back to another episode on your Dr. DIY's channel. So in today's video, we are going to show you a simple cost-effective method on how you can control your auto gate, namely a sliding auto gate by means of a smartphone. So meaning which you can open and close your auto gate using your smartphone, right? So hope this video brings some information to you. Do like and do subscribe to the channel and thank you for your support for those who have done so. So typically auto gates are normally controlled by means of remote control. Okay. So we got a remote control and this is the connection box. Normally it is done outside. So the auto gate normally they got two type of setup AC or DC. Okay, in this case, we are using DC, meaning which there is a backup battery inside here. So in the event, Recity, the backup battery will act as a power to power up the circuit and the auto gate will be still able to operate. So in this case, we are using remote. So we just press, it opens. Okay. And we press back, it stops, we press back, it close. Right, so what is the disadvantage of using a remote? So the disadvantage of using a remote, there are a lot. One is because the battery cannot last. Right, the battery cannot last. And you can only operate the auto gate with a certain distance. Because it's not using 2.6. 4 gigahertz of frequency normally it is in megahertz right so the range of operation is rather short but that is a good factor also because security wise you know uh, you only can operate when it's close by now another disadvantage is when you are expecting a parcel right so you are not in the house but the postman is standing out of your house and he's calling you to deliver your parcel now, let's say your parcel, it is made or it is a fragile material. You don't want the postman or you don't want to inform the postman to throw your parcel inside because it might break. So, the only thing which can be done is to get the door open to ask the postman to put the, guard, the, the parcel inside and to shut the door. Obviously, you can do this by means of using the smartphone right so you might be asking what about security yes you may have a cctv in wolf or you can install a cctv in this case which is not a barrier so you can view the activity being conducted by the logistic or the postman and also open and close the gate using your smartphone so we are going to show you a tutorial on how you are going to do a conversion from a remote control do a smartphone operation for a sliding auto gate. Bear in mind, if you are using a open type of auto, auto gate, meaning which you have a door left and right. Okay. One of my friend, he has a DIY channel. He has also did a similar video, but for opening. Okay. You have two doors because the circuitry and the wiring is a bit different. I will put the link in this description to go to the channel to have information on how you can do that right and also do support him right subscribe to his channel because he does a lot of interesting diy videos okay so i will be covering for the sliding auto gate so without further ado let me show you the circuit involved so the circuitry involved is basically this circuit the cost of this circuit is basically around 12 ringgit it's very cheap okay so this is a single channel circuit okay normally used for sliding type of auto gate if you have a folding type of auto gate you need a two channel meaning which you will have two relay okay so this is only one relay Okay, so this circuit is basically, it can be powered up using AC or DC. 
from 7 to 32 volts okay so they give you a flexible and then you also can power up the circuit by means of a usb adapter okay so five volts in and then there are two buttons here okay one is to on and off and one more is to do the pairing and you have three output this three output is normally open common and normally close okay so we have three output so this is the one we are going to attach it to the auto gate control box so we will show you how to do that okay and of course it comes with a manual so this manual shows you how to basically pair this guy to your phone okay so the first thing which we need to do is to pair the circuitry of this board to the phone so you have to download the software called eVlink okay so you download this software and then register your account so once you register your account then you just follow the steps because the steps are given very detailed in this manual okay okay guys so this is the control box of the auto gate okay so uh, a few things you will notice in the control box first is the receiver unit okay so this is the receiver unit normally this thing is paired to your remote control okay so this is the antenna signal and you have a transformer a step down transformer 240 volts coming in and is going out 12 volt so this is the supply we are going to use to power up our board okay and then obviously we have the backup battery okay so this battery basically it is a 12 volt 7.2 ampere uh, battery it is a, a seal lead acid battery okay so this is the battery so we are going to now inspect this board to see where is the appropriate place for the connection to be tapped uh, just for the record the base of the board we have basically put a polyfoam board right because uh, there's a lot of solders underneath so we do not want any short circuit to happen if when we place this board inside here so the objective of putting this board is uh, highly recommended so that you will not short circuit this board okay so now we are going to connect the module to the circuitry board of the auto gate so this module now we have tapped on the wire so this is the input of the power supply and we have normally open common and normally close so we are going to use normally open and common so this common and this common we are going to connect it together and it's going to be the negative supply to this board this is the positive supply and this will be the signal so the supply we are going to tap directly from this wire okay this is rather easy so this is positive sorry the red is positive and the black is common okay so no problem we have already done that you can see uh, the wires are here normally open the signal normally comes from the receiver this receiver so you just follow okay so from the multimeter you will be able to note that this is normally open so you just loop it there right so now we are ready to test okay so installation has been complete we decided to put the port the module at the side here okay so we stick it by means of a double-sided tape so now we are going to do the test okay guys so we have downloaded the app EV link just open up the app and then you have already renamed your device to whatever you want to rename in this case is called AutoGate so I'm opening up the app so 
by right if I just click this or I press the auto gate should open so you can see so the auto gate is running okay it's opening now now let's close the auto gate the auto gate is closing So if you want to on, you're going to open again. Okay. So the purpose of this module or the circuit is just to give a, a signal. Okay. A signal by means of just on and off. That is a signal. Okay. Just like how a limit switch works. So that is the purpose of this module. Okay. So it is normally connected to normally open. Right, so this is used for one channel is used for sliding gate, right? So for a foldable gate where you have left and right, you need to buy a different module which is two channel. Okay, guys, so I hopefully this video brought in some valuable information to you. Likewise, I'm your host, Dr. DIY from Dr. DIY channel. Remember, providing solutions for a better lifestyle for a better future right checking out now from dr diy's channel till we meet again